China's latest guidelines on the creation of the unified domestic market assumes significance, as it comes at a time when external uncertainties are rising and authorities are striving to keep the growth momentum intact by focusing on the huge, untapped potential of the domestic market. In today's base beat, let us find out why it is necessary for the country to focus on the building of a unified domestic market. The most obvious answer to this question is the fact that the unified national market will promote high-quality development in the country, a goal which has been reiterated by the policymakers at various forums. China is also aiming to promote the efficient circulation and expansion of the domestic market to foster a stable, fair, transparent, and predictable business environment and reduce market transaction costs. Once the domestic market is well connected, the overall market efficiency will improve labor productivity and increase the income of residents. It will also enable market players to grow further while improving the quality of supply, demand optimization, and channel upgrade. At the same time, it will also enable supply and demand to complement each other, boost the production and marketing, and enable positive interactions. The unified market will also lend further credence to the government's efforts to build a high-level socialist market economy system. A high-level socialist market economy system necessarily requires the construction of the high-standard market system, which should be, first of all, an efficient and standardized, fair and competitive, fully open national unified market. More importantly, a unified market is necessary to achieve scientific and technological self-reliance and self-improvement to promote industrial upgrades. Such an attempt will also guide the effective allocation of innovation resources, promote orderly flow and a reasonable concentration of innovation factors in a wider scope, and also support the development of scientific and technological innovation and related industrial patterns. Building a unified domestic market does not necessarily mean that China is closing its doors to the outside world. Rather, it marks the new stage in China's pursuit of high-level opening up, as it will help cultivate new advantages for China to participate in international competition and cooperation. In the future, China's high-value-added industries, consumption and services will support its modernization and help boost global demand and provide new impetus for economic growth.